Hey all, Silver Keys here with my first video. Uh, I wanted to share something that I just got yesterday from my mother. Um, this is the sum total of my inheritance from my my mother. <laughs> um, long story there, but uh, this was a book that actually belonged to her mother, my grandmother. Um, and it's a, a Lincoln Sense um, book from 1941 with... Uh, pennies that my grandmother actually saved. And um, you can see uh, this page is complete. Um, I really like this book because um, not only can you see the fronts, but you can see the backs of the coins. And uh, yeah, those steel pennies are there. Um, so that page is complete, uh, 1941 through uh, 1950s, and I have checked all the coins, um, and they appear to be the correct ones, mint marks. On this page, I, I put a piece of paper in behind here so that you can see the ones that I'm, I'm missing, the 1951, 52, and 54, uh, no mint marks, and of course the 55 um, double die obverse. Um, I'm missing the 58, the 60, small and large. Now the 60D, small and large, are here, and I've looked at them with my small jeweler's loop, and I believe that they're correct, um, but I, I need to get a, a better microscope where I can look at them a little bit closer and really check that out. I'm really new to this, so it's my untrained eye um, kind of guessing that that's correct. This one actually, um, cool enough, when we got home with this last night, we went through the, the pennies that we had in our little penny jar here, and this one was missing, and we actually had it in our penny jar. I'll, I'll flip it out here. Um, it's not a great penny. You can see that it's got a, a bad ding there in the, the rim, and so I'll, I, I may look for a different one at some point to replace that so it's a, a better copy in here. But for now it filled that slot and we were kind of excited about that. Um, again, you can see the backs. And then um, this last page, um, which goes from 62, and I believe this is 65D. The, um, the ink is kind of faded there. And so I'm, I'm missing that. Um, but the other fun thing I, I, I noticed about this is that um, my grandmother, Ellen, um, actually filled this out the rest of the way with um, 66 through, um, I believe it's 71, 73, 73. Um, so she, she put in the extras um, through 73. And again, the back. Um, so I'd love to get more books like this and, and fill out. We have uh, we have a jar of pennies, like many people do, um, that have both pre-41 and post-70s um, pennies in it that I'd like to get into some books and actually begin to uh, build my, my penny collection. Uh, I have a Morgan Dollar collection that was my father's that I obtained recently and um, kind of wanted to build on that. I think I have like 12 of them. Um, but when mom offered this up yesterday, um, I jumped at the chance. Of course, I'll take it. So um, it was kind of cool, kind of exciting and um, a neat way to enter coin collecting. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave me some comments down below, and uh, I'll catch you next time.